Okay, there was a bit of confusion about uh, working out exactly the direction that light will ref refract in when it changes from one medium to another. So I'm going to go through the, the rules for that and then a few examples. Um, so imagine we have a ray of light coming in from one medium to another medium. How is it going to refract? Now, there are two situations you need to know about. If we're going from a less dense material to a more dense material, so for example, if we're going from air to glass, then when we go from less dense to more dense, the light will slow down. And if we go from more dense to less dense, the opposite, obviously, it will uh, speed up. All right. And if the light slows down, the effect that has is it bends toward the normal. And if the light speeds up, it's the opposite, so it bends away from the normal. So everything we do, we're going to rely on these two rules. Okay, so let's do our first one. So here, we're going to go from air to glass. Okay, so we're going from air to glass. That's less dense to more dense, so my light is going to slow down and it's going to bend towards the normal. So the first thing I need to do is, on here, draw the normal. Now the normal is always perpendicular to the boundary between the two mediums. Okay, so ignore your ray of light here, because it's easy to get confused and think that somehow the normal is to do with this. All right, You just look at where it touches and then make sure that your normal is perpendicular to the surface. All right, now it's easy because now we just know that it's going to slow down and bend towards the normal. So my ray of light will refract like this. Okay. Now, there are different ways that you can understand why this happens. And you don't need to if you don't want to. If you, don't, if you want to, you can just memorize these two rules. Uh, there are different sort of models that we can use. Imagine if you have a car, and the car, and these are the wheels on the car. Okay, now, as the car gets to the boundary between the two surfaces, all right, uh, this wheel here is going to cross that boundary first. And this wheel here will then start to slow down first. So it will start to slow down before this wheel slows down. Okay, so as we go from air to glass, this wheel starts to slow down first. And because this one's going slower than this one, it makes the car sort of bend in this direction. Or not bend, it will change direction in that, change uh, into that direction. All right. Um, and there are other ways you can understand it. If you don't want to understand it, just memorize those rules. So let's look at the second one. So we're going to do it again air to glass. So the first thing we do is we draw on our normal. The normal is the line perpendicular to the surface where the light hits it. And we're going air to glass. So the light is going to slow down. And because it slows down, it bends towards the normal. Okay. And you can see, therefore, that the angle of incidence is larger than the angle of reflection. Okay. Next example, now we'll do the opposite way. So we're going to go from glass to air. Again, same, same method every time. First, I draw on my normal line. So I don't get confused. It's very difficult to do some of these. Once we start going uh, away from vertical or horizontal, like over here, it's going to be difficult to do it without drawing the normal line. So glass to air. This is more dense. This is less dense. Okay, as I go from more dense to less dense, I'm going to speed up. If I speed up, I'm going to bend away from the normal. Okay, so I just look. My light comes in. This is the normal here, so I'm going to bend away from that line. So I go like this. And you can compare that to the one that we did up here. 
where it was the opposite around. It was air to glass, and I bend towards the normal. Here it's glass to air, I bend away from the normal. All right. Again, any of these you're not sure about, you can just pause the video, rewind it, watch it over again. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to carry on. So this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. How do you draw the normal here? You just look at where the light is touching or the light is hitting the surface and then always draw it perpendicular to the boundary. So, okay, this is a right angle here. Now, we're going to go glass to air which is more dense to less dense. So the rule is that it speeds up. And when it speeds up, it bends away from my normal. So that's what it would look like going straight through. If it's going to bend away from the normal, it's going to bend like that. Okay, next one. Again, Draw the normal line on first, then make the decision. Air to glass, less dense, more dense. Slows down, bends towards the normal. So this is what it would look like going straight through. This is the normal. If I bend towards the normal, it's gonna look like that. And then last one. You see, I. I would I wouldn't even try and attempt to do this without drawing the normal on first. I think, especially when your boundary is at an angle, it's so easy to get confused about where the normal is. It's not even worth trying. Okay, so glass to air, more dense to less dense, speed up, bend away from the normal. So that's going to do that as well okay and it's really easy to make the mistake to think here oh no i'm bending towards the normal because you've momentarily got the normal line and the, the surface boundary mixed up all right you see this is the normal and i'm bending away from the normal okay so you might think oh well, these two are the same but they're not okay even though they look very similar the normal line and the surface boundary are switched in both cases and that is how you do that.